Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we will be discussing a triple collaboration with New Balance, Paperboy, and Beams on the 920. And this is known as the Ice Boy. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, once again, we are going to be talking about a New Balance collaboration with Paperboy and Beams on the 920 Silhouette. So we'll go through the overview, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style these and conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. Once again, we've got Paperboy, which is a cafe located in Paris. Hope to go there one day. They always have these really cool sneaker releases with New Balance and they are so incredibly hard to get, including that fried egg. If you haven't seen that before, be sure to check that sneaker out online. It's so cool. Uh, and Beams is a Japanese fashion label. So really cool that the three of them have come together to create this incredible looking sneaker. Again, this was very difficult to get. I'm so excited to have this in the collection though because it is so unique and so different. We've got some cool asymmetrical color seams going on, but one of the coolest parts, as you can see here, the sneakers are two different colors. So we've got different uses of the gray tone. So we've got a lighter gray on the right version versus a darker charcoal gray on the left version. And the meshing is completely the same. It's in a white color scheme, but we do have two different logos on the front here for Paperboy and Beams, which is really cool that they have those nice little details for that lace uh, accent there in the metallic silver colorway. We do have some silver hues on the side paneling there. As we work our way up, we've got crisp white laces, more white meshing. And then again, that dual combination of the same matching gray hues on the upper is the same at the top of the tongue. So we've got light gray on this one and dark gray on this one. We do have beams and New Balance on one while we have beams and New Balance on the other other as well in that stitched white color scheme. And then uh, we do have other laces. So if you're not filling the white, we do have a darker and lighter toned gray as well as the white, of course. As far as the lace tips go, we do have a little logo there of Paperboy as well as Beams. A little hard to see, but it is in white. So really cool that there's that subtle detail there. So let's take a look at those details and then we'll move along to the side paneling. And then I'm just gonna flip on the interior of the tongue as well, because we've got two different things. So these are made in UK. So we've got the made in England on both um, and designed in Tokyo and Paris on the interior of the tongues there. I don't even know if I can hold this with two hands so you guys can see what that looks like there. 
And then on the eyelets as well, I almost missed this. We also have flipped uh, colors of gray as well. So we've got the lighter hue of gray here and the darker there. So it looks like they're switching and mixing and matching the gray hues. But also as you look at the back of the tongue, we've got lighter gray, darker gray. We've got dark gray for the interior of this sneaker, light gray for the interior of this sneaker. And the same goes for the insoles. We've got the triple branding on both in white, but we have light gray for the insole on this one and darker gray for this one. As we work our way to the side paneling, I'm actually just gonna hold these both up so we can see that the ends are also flipped. So we've got a darker gray end here, a lighter gray there. And as we work our way to the back of the heels, again, we've got the flipped grays on the back of the heel here with darker and lighter. Then we've got the 920 stitch in white on both the lateral sides of the sneaker. So usually the sneaker does say just 920 on it, but for Paperboy, they actually put a PB next to it for a nice subtle branding accent. And cap is also swapped with a lighter gray on one and a darker gray on the other. And then we do have just the same uh, midsole that's in white on the front there. And then uh, it's a bit different actually as we work our way down to the outsole. The outsoles are also flipped in those gray hues as well. As far as the box goes, we do have all of the different trio collaborators displayed throughout the box. So it's cool that we do have basically three different brandings going on throughout the box as well as the sneaker. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details. So now let's talk about size and fit on these. I am a seven and a half in the 920 series. So definitely six true size on this one. I do have higher to narrow feet. So depending on whether or not you have wider, wider flatter feet, that could differentiate something that works completely opposite from my own. All right, so let's jump into styling. I really wanted to play with color with these. This is a very kind of basic color scheme, but I love how they've kind of swapped the different colorways and played with the gray hues in this. So I wanted to bring some color into the mix. So for the first look, I decided to wear a, a green turtleneck with a nice puffer vest in green as well. And then I wore some khaki pants. I switched the color scheme up to purple. I wore a purple velour tracksuit with a nice fuzzy light purple sweater underneath that. look I dressed up a little bit with a black leather skirt and a sheer black top and then I layered that with a nice fuchsia trench coat
You let me know down below which of the three you liked or how would you sell these. how these are currently doing on the resale market. These retail at 260 and depending on your size, these are going between 260 to 400. All right, everybody, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode. Tell everyone.